So this mall is really big and it's a mixture of all kinds of things, including vintage, blow molds, beer taps, I mean, you name it, they've got it. But every now and then when you come into a shop like this, if you're looking for the primitives, there will be a booth that kind of has more of that vibe. So, the good thing about going to some of the really um, well-displayed, well-collected, primitive pieces is to get a better idea of what you're looking for when you have to decide, in the mix of all these other things, what might be a primitive piece that's just hidden in the midst of all of the other. So I will just keep hunting. Well, this mall has loud music in the background, so I'm not sure you'll be able to, if I'll even be able to um, put this online. But I saw something here. My husband is a fan of IPAs, and I thought this might be an interesting Christmas present. These are the taps for on uh, a beer tap, and I thought Boss Tweed for Tweed Thistle might be kind of cute, and maybe we'll start a collection. This is a really pretty, pretty display here with all of these white, these white pieces. There's ironstone, there's a spoon rack, some little plates, uh, some of the molds, really pretty, beautiful display here. That's really pretty, that matte vase, that white, I think that might have to come home with me for our flower farm. So when, no, right now I'm in Mommy Antiques. This is about 20 minutes away from um, Cornfield Primitives. And there's all kinds of different things in this mall. It's very vintage looking and, um, but there are some, there are some real antique booths. So you just have to hunt and that's, kind of part of the fun so when you go to one shop you want to hit a few others and you definitely would be able to have some fun here at mommy antiques but this would be more of a hunt to try to locate these primitive antique style and did I? well look at that see that card there for Seville antiques this is Michelle's booth, and I was looking for that here in the mall. So Michelle, shout out to you because your style comes across in each of your booths. I was looking for this one here in the mall. Love those, those blue bound books, that's pretty. That would be really pretty together. I'll have to pick that up here before I leave. Can't believe in this whole place that I wandered through here and found your booth. When Right across the hallway are a bunch of jewelry and beer mugs and those kind of things. But yeah, your style definitely uh, 
comes through, which is a good thing. There's some neat shelf holders. Pretty bowl. This one has the lip. As you know, that's what I'm always looking for. What's this one? This one does not have the lip. That's nice, nice out of round bowl there. Old candy jar, nice counter jar. And that one's got the scoop even in it. Needlepoint chair. Some nice drawers. I have some unique little um, flower arrangements for that we do for the springtime. And I'm always looking for this style of drawer, an old drawer, to be able to put that in. And look at that, there they are. Oh, but we're also getting ready to move. Do I want to bring more home to have to move later? Hmm. I might have to think about that for a minute. Oh, here's a couple other cute little drawers. There's a neat sign. Antiques, bought and sold. Very cool. Like that old lithograph there with the sheep. There's another one with the sheep. Pretty little piece of decorative molding, that cornice there. that display right there They're stacked on all those little benches and the early tree masher all right I don't know if they have baskets at the entrance but they should something to hold when you are buying things here maybe I missed that Early redware dish. Huh. It says Madonna TWB. Interesting. neat little baskets down here and that looks like that's an early maybe a little emery it's pretty here in this This cabinet. I like that old white cabinet too. Very pretty. All 
All right. Well, I think I'm going to take that. That little white base. And I have to decide which of these sets of blue books will come home with me. So let's just do a quick little walk wander around the size of this, and you can see just how big and over the years of collecting antiques I can kind of most scan from the outside of the booth for that for that look and you know if there's something in there take a closer look at. Or not. It's a pretty good picture. Blue stoneware. That is really heavy. That is pretty. That's nice. Some crocs. And it just goes on and on and on. You can definitely get lost in here. So if you are in the area, it's definitely worth the visit to stop at Cornfield Primitives or make it a road trip. Jamie's also in several of the shows. I know she had mentioned to me that she's in shows in um, Illinois. Or call the shop, find out where she's going to be. But I would definitely put antiques or uh, back to our roots show on your list in June and September. I remember right, she said it was on June 10th and September 30th, and that's in Montgomery County, uh, in Dayton, Ohio. And keep hunting. You know, sometimes the booths that don't have primitives might have that one odd piece that since it's really not their style, they don't know how to price it. Don't know what to do with it. And they'll just slap a price tag on it. And that's when you find, you find those special um, treasures.
in the big antique malls. All right, I am signing out. I've got more places to take you, more things to show you, but at the very least, Michelle's booth here in this mall is worth worth a visit. There's somebody else I was looking for here, and I just don't don't find him. It was another exceptionally primitive vendor, and he has a couple of booths. And unfortunately, I have just not not come across it. Is a pretty little painting up there on the wall. Hmm. The fun thing too about a shop like this is that if you come with friends and you're a primitive collector and they're not, but maybe they like vintage or they like to collect comic books or something else there's so much of everything in this shop that they would enjoy the visit to oh now here is some primitives that flip back bench is unique Tilt top table. Pretty countertop desk. And that's green painted. And the green carrier there, the tote. foot warmer out of stone. See, so you have to keep looking in these places because right around the corner can be that's in really good shape. Old wall spice rack. That looks like tiger maple. Really painting. Children's okay. shoes. It's on this side. And it's fairly far up. Oh, hold on one second. This one will get this too. Isn't this nice? This is uh, another primitive booth here. This may be the ones I was looking for. Hey, Marge. Oh, now look at that. Do those look familiar? That's like what I showed in my parents' home. My dad has one of these. Fremont Council Knights of Columbus is what they call it. The lion's head stamp. Hmm. Interesting. It's a doorstop. The nice... Little tin scale pan. That's nice. Not a bad price for that either. Oh, okay, she's not. That is a chalkware bank. She's beautiful. Very nice. Garden frog. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, they've got here, they think, um, they say 19 Pretty pieces in here. that bowl that looks just like that set that we saw sweet little doll cradle there in a unique blue Alright, I suspect that this might have been the other prim booth that I was looking for. It's a neat cast iron pinwheel vent in old paint. So keep hunting, you know, if you've driven by a shop a million times. Maybe it's time to go back in if you haven't in a while, because you just never know what you're going to find. Dealers change, inventory changes. And sometimes something that suddenly becomes popular because it's been in a recent magazine featured and then it's something that you're looking for. Oh, that's interesting. Brass, candy, apple butter, thermometer. Look at that. Never seen one like that. That's to put in a very large vat. Early 1900s brass candy apple butter thermometer. Wow. Well, I am very much looking forward to getting into our new house because I keep seeing things that I would love to decorate with, but I definitely don't want to have to pack them and move them. So I guess sometimes these videos are just vicariously shopping. Nice number two croc, beautiful blue banded, yellow wear bowl. So I hope you will like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends as we continue to travel around Ohio and feature some of these neat antique shops. Take care everybody. Keep watching.